Well, inspecting the chair, I found some things that we need to do with it. If you look at these back two spindles where they go into the legs, they are dry. There is no glue on the surfaces. And what I also did was looked at the front spindles and gave them a kind of a, a tap to see if they were staying in place, which they seem to be. And looking at his varnish line on here, I don't think they've moved. But what we will do when we put this together is we'll put our glue on our back two spindles here, get them back in place, and then when we drill for the nails, we'll put nails in all four corners, like he's done on his spindles that go across here. All right. So I have my Elmer's Carpenter wood glue. It's the yellow stuff. Kind of like it because it dries fairly clear and it dries pretty quickly. And carpenter glue holds a little better than the old schoolhouse white glue that we used when we were in school. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of that on here. Just going to put a little dab on top and then use my finger here in a minute. Do the same over here on this one. Just get it ready because this is the only place I'm going to be using glue. And then I want to put the film, take the film with my finger. And just put that light film of glue all the way around. We'll do the same over here. I got just a little too much on there. It's starting to run, but that's okay. We don't need a lot of glue. We just need glue. These uh, legs holes are very, very tight, so it'll be okay that way. I'm going to take this and get it off my fingers a little bit. And then I'm just going to kind of be banging around a little bit. I'm going to bang that one down in the hole there. Bang that in the hole, and then forward, and forward. You see how they've seated themselves? They've gone all the way in. Now, of course, we're going to have excess glue, which we have to take off. Let me do that this way. So we have excess glue over here. We need to take that off. Extra glue is gone. We then go back to our good old drill here and we want to put our drill bit in. Usually the easiest way to do that is kind of hold it in the center, hold your finger here. See how that chuck is starting to tighten up around there? Now that it's tight, what I always do is kind of Give it an extra couple things to make sure that that drill is in position. And what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to drill on an angle that's going to go down through the pin and into the basic part of the wood here. Now you'll notice here, if I put the screw or the nail over here, as I go down through there on an angle, it's not going to come out of the front of the leg. But I have to be careful when I drill because I don't want that drill to go through the front of the leg. So I hold it, whoops, to set my speed for drilling. And this is, no, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Is we're going to make a pilot hole because that thing will want to drift a little bit. What I want to do is make it just a little mark here so the drill bit knows where to go without it wandering around on me. Okay, here we go. I'm drilling in. I'm feeling it go through the spindle and into the wood. And I pull it back out. Now you notice I'm doing this very, very slowly. Maple is a very hard wood. Can one tend to break the blades if I'm twisting them, or two actually take it and crack? Now, as you see, it doesn't go all the way in, does it? That's what I wanted. This is a nail set. Kind of a dumb looking thing. It's got a square head on it. It's a 332nd nail set from Craftsman. This is actually a tool that my father used some many, many years ago, and I've one of the ones that I've kept to use. 
See it has a flat end on it. And what we're going to do with that flat end is put it on the end of the nail. You kind of got to hold it securely. And then tap. Since the chair is kind of a moving thing, you just got to do the tap, tap, tap. And now we've set it below the surface of the wood. See that? Again, slow and patient. Now since we're on this side, we might as well go ahead and drill this one. I don't want to take it apart because as we talked about, the glue is solid. It's solid in here. We need to make our nail set pilot hole, which we'll do right here. Let me come around to this side. It's easier for me. You'll notice that I'm left-handed, but what I've learned over the years is I can work either left or right-handed depending on what the need is. So again, we'll take our drill. Not too fast, but steady. We're going down through our spindle. Right. And now I can go a little further and then pull it straight back out again. See the sawdust come off. Take my galvanized nail down into the hole. Take my nail set. There we are. You see that one went in a little better because it's more secure against this. Now, we just go around to the other side and repeat the process. Well, another simple project finished. I've gone ahead and set the nails over on this side. And then I actually dropped these in a little bit lower than what they were because her husband didn't quite get those in all the way. But the chair is going to be nice and secure. We don't even need to worry about the glue setting up completely because of the fact that we've nailed them down. The other thing we did was check the other four chairs that belong with this set and found that they're all secure at the present time. So what I'm going to do is leave those alone, but if we need to fix them, we can get back and fix them later. Hub from HandymanTeacher.com. Thanks for taking a look at it with us. Bye-bye now.